I cannot believe this many people showed up. I can't believe it's not Butter, but I am! Get out of here, Butterman! It's pronounced Butterman! I wasn't planning on staying. The cry of a dry trumpet calls to me till we melt again. How about we just change the law so that only I can stay? Mm -hmm. Shh. Now, Jack, look at this crowd. The public are coming around. This isn't the lost cause. So just get up there and say something. Okay, okay, okay. I just gotta get that butter guy out of my head. It's a fucking dude, man. Your butter, believe it! Quiet! <laughs> Jackie! Jackie Chen! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> I didn't know you were having a party. <laughs> That's really cool, man. <laughs> Hello. Oh, good I love. <laughs> Skaldrick, did you come here just to mock me? Um, is that popcorn? Uh, uh, yes and no. Yes, I am here to mock you, but no, these are, these are scarab beetles. So, mm. Mm. Sorry, mate, uh, they're a little dry. Mm, but of course! Neato, neato petito. But I've got a little speech to make, so maybe you could just b butter off. Mm. Butter off. Good on you, Jack. Break a leg. Yeah, leg, spine, hell. Break it all. <laughs> you text him. That's cool. Hi. Hey. Guys, girls, whatever that is. Um, thank you so much for coming. What a turnout. <laughs> it really means so much that you all care about my cause. This cause, our cause, uh, really matters to this many people. Um, I'm Jack. Boo! Boo! Am I right? You might remember me from Fishy Thursday. All the time I blew up Morgan Wright's eardrum on television. Yeah, nice one, you dickhead. Or, or a positive example. Hey, what do you think of that? And, and I have run out of words. Lutus. Oh well, he tried. Okay, guys, well, we all know why we're here, so let's just open the floor for public discussion. Hi, Marvolo Mondrago, Sorcerer, Level 16. Hi, Marvolo. Uh, enjoy that level sweet 16, mate. It'll be over before you know it. What level are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm level... You know, you're not the only wizard in town. Some of us have been here for centuries, going completely unnoticed. And then you turn up, turn a railway station into a fish, and suddenly we're all being told to fuck off! I, um, I, uh, I, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, what a cunt. Hey, Zandark, necromancer. Hey, Zandark. Hey, Skaldrick. So, Zach. So, Jack, my bad. It seems your petition calls for any acts of raising the dead to cease forthwith. I think that's pretty unfair, considering some of our professions, fetishes. Gross. And what's with no murdering people? What? Oh, boom! Yeah! Boom! Stick it up, you mate! Beanbag. Oh, you call it, guys. Come on. Hello. I'm Snot Beak Fuck Nugs. Spokes Goblin for St. Cox Splitters Council for Equal Rights for the Attractively Impaired. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, uh, your documentation, uh, you, you, you have no options for aesthetically challenged members of the magical community whatsoever. What's the story there, mate? I didn't think of it. Oh, I don't know, man. Look, if you want to fit in, why didn't you change your name from, what was it, Shitbird Dick Lips into something like, I don't know, Tim? I'll have you know that Fucknugs is a proud goblin name. You got it. You got some water cheek on your mate. You fraudulent poet. I hate this man. Oh, I've got such a hard on right now, man. It's like Medusa. She took a peek at his. And... Hey, he hates him. Look at his shirt. What? 
Patrick. <laughs> now that is very offensive. He tried to get me to stop barbecue. How un-Australian is that? She just wanted to be an astronaut. You murderer! You won't anyone think about my poor baby boy? And he can't even keep it off on Lake Enrique. And my hot water hasn't been working for days. That's right! He's a pervert! He got me so wet in a restaurant that I was late for a date with Brendan Frazier and Rachel Weiss, star of The Lovely Bones and Monkey Bone, respectively. I like him. Thank you, Terry. Fuck you, Terry. Why don't we just send him back? He caused this whole mess. Why blame the majority for the actions of a minority? Yeah, what a dick slit. Send him back. Send him back. Send him back. Send him back. This has been like a complete and utter. What's the expression? Like um, like a locomotive disaster. Like a, a bunch of people in the metro die in a crash. A train wreck? Mm, no. Anyway, why did I think this was a good idea? I left home to escape these lunatics, and now I've given them a rallying point. Me. Jack, this was a good idea. Okay, granted, they may be against you now, and for good reason, my judgment. But they all need this vote to go through, so just, just get them on side. Oh, I can't do that. They hate my guts. I'm pathetic. You're not pathetic. Okay, look, you've made some mistakes, but you're a good guy. Just stand up and speak from the heart. You got this. Be charming. <laughs> you can do charming. Hey, this baby eating fuck is trying to. <laughs> I know I'm nobody's favorite person right now, and I know that I got us into this mess, but please, let me get us out of it. Why are we all here? Why would anybody leave their home for somewhere so different and so strange? And I can tell you why I came here. And it's cheesy, but I came here because I love this city, and I love this country. I love that I can check my mail without being buried in owls. I love that I can go to the beach without fear of kraken attack. I love that, by and large, there aren't many butter people here trying to assault my toast with slippery cholesterol. I'll get you, yes! <sighs> but what I love the most is that, in spite of my accidents, in spite of all the times I fucked up, I've actually felt pretty welcomed here. And for someone like me, that's everything. And do you not all feel welcomed? All of us, outsiders, black sheep, eye kings, <laughs> wizards, I! Necromancers. I! Terry's. Oh, uh, I! Goblins. <laughs> Money lords. She and I once strangled a puppy to death for no reason. We were just bored. And assorted others. You're cheering me on! Fuck you, Butterman! New settlers have always been welcomed in this country. Uh, but let's show them that we're worth the effort. Let's show them that we can be Australians too. Well, Jack, I never knew how passionately you felt about this place. I mean, look, I feel like a bit of a bloody dill pickle say of this, but the reason I wanted you back home was because I miss you. I miss having someone around that I could just fucking hate, you know? And I do. I hate you. I hate you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got to admit, though, I didn't get you to use magic again. Yes, you did, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your language, you cunt. <laughs> All right, I'm outy.
<laughs> you did it, Jack. We did it, Kylie. This is the start of something great. A long life here in Melbourne. Um, it's, 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 it's beautiful. Oh, uh, allow me. Yeah, okay, stop it, stop it. Jack, I know how to eat. <laughs> I am happy for you, though. And I'm proud of the small part that I played in helping you find a home. Small part? Thanks to you, I've, I found a new home, and I think I've found someone I want to share it with. Jack, what do you think you're doing, Jack? What, 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 what do you mean? We, we, we won. Now, now we kiss. That's, that's how this ends. No, no, it isn't. Look, I, you're a really nice guy, but I, I'm aggressively unattracted to you. Where I'm from, we uh, win the quest, we kiss the maiden. Oh, well, that's fucked up. Just because I'm the only woman you know, Jack, doesn't mean that we are destined to be together. If I was interested, I probably wouldn't have taken you speed dating. But, but, but you, you kissed me. Jesus Christ, there is a big difference between a kiss on the cheek and a cock in my mouth. <laughs> what? What do you mean, whoa, what? It, it's, 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 it's gross, it's, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's weird, it's, it's, it's vulgar. It's... Fuck you, it's vulgar. You just pulled me against my will to your gaping maw and I am not into wispy beard mouth. I'm, I'm not sure I un understand what's happening right now. Typical, look, Jack. I'm really happy that I could help you. Really, I am. Um, maybe I'll see you around? Well, at, at least wizards can live in Melbourne now. Well, at least I haven't ruined everything. I have ruined everything. Ah, uh, good question. Uh, I think Melbourne has changed since the Wizards, you know, showed up, now that you mention it. But, uh, it's always been a hectic city. So much hustle and bustle, you know? <laughs> I love it. As a vegetarian, I couldn't be happier since my husband was turned into a cauliflower. As a pescatarian, I couldn't be happier with my new neighbour. G'day. Since the Wizards took over, Metro trains have been running on time, if not slightly in the future. <laughs> G'day, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, look, all right, I'll admit. Um, when the Johnny Come Lateys uh, first turned up, I was on serious bloody tender hooks, you know what I mean? But when they showed me the beauty of the self-battery fish. Well, I've been making some Yahoo serious dosh. Why must everything I love die? I mean, I finally found a place that I fit in. Sort of. I am going to escape this bullshit. Now I'm knees, no cop, no neck, fucking deep in it. All followed me over. All of it. Huh. At least it's peaceful. I mean, you fucked up a good city, ruined a lot of lives. <sighs> but hey, this is nice. Well, everyone else is gone, but I'm glad you changed your mind. Feels right, doesn't it? Like old times? I don't know, man. It's been a weird month. I mean, everything I've ever loved is either 
died or turned to shit. Maybe I should just embrace something I hate. I hate you, Jack. And I hate you, Skuldrick. Now and forever. Thus, the circle of life continues its dance into eternity. That is a beautiful thing. I cannot articulate how much I regret this decision. <laughs>